This is a presentation for prospective different students who wish to study A-level philosophy and theology. My name is Mr. Ross. I am head of department. Please be aware that the subject's name on the specification is actually OCR, Religious Studies. We think it's a misnomer, hence why we call it philosophy and theology, and you'll soon see why. Uh, the information I'm going to provide for you now can be found on the school website in the course guide, particularly this page here. Um, let me just focus on the first sentence. The subject generally aims to provide students with the capacity to know thyself. That's the pastoral or personal uh, aim of the course. In terms of the professional uh, aims of the course, we're aiming to provide a framework okay, for students to integrate the various special sciences, as Aristotle called it, special sciences and arts, into a unified whole. And this is ideally designed to help them with their university selection uh, and also their potential vocation. Philosophy, uh, as Socrates famously defined it, is the love of wisdom, not actually having wisdom, but actually seeking it. Uh, Plato went further and tried to illustrate three subject areas or sub-subject areas, what is real, technically known as metaphysics, what is right, ethics and political philosophy, and what is reasonable belief, logic, the theory of knowledge, or more technically known as epistemology. There are three ways of learning the subject, historically, thematically, but we actually combine both of them together. We start with the ancients, move through those various periods of time, focusing on largely the philosophy of religion, metaphysics, ethics, epistemology, logic, and political philosophy, but we actually look at those other areas as well. Um, it's very difficult to convey what philosophy is about um, to those who haven't done it before. Uh, metaphysics, for example, what is real can often be construed as a debate uh, between four positions, materialists, immaterialists, dualists, who would regard reality in some way to be made up of both material things and immaterial things, and skeptics. However, this is way too simple. Aristotle, arguably the, probably the most famous metaphysician that there has been, uh, his position cannot be conveyed on such a simple diagram. Uh, here's a overview, as it were, of the timeline where we start with the Socratics. We then move into Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. Uh, we then move into late antiquity with Plotinus, the early medieval period with Augustine and Thomas Aquinas, into the early moderns, Descartes, Locke. Uh, we get to one of the last of the Enlightenment thinkers, Immanuel Kant. Uh, that finishes year 12. Then we move into year 13 with these rather exotic thinkers here, Wittgenstein, William James, uh, Karl Marx, Hegel, Heidegger, Nietzsche, Kierkegaard, and these existentialists and Quine. Here's the modules that we study, and I'll let you look at those uh, that in more detail. Here is the way we teach it in terms of myself being teacher one. I start with the ancients. Miss Boyd is teacher two. She starts with the early moderns. Here, is, here are some of the students uh, that we teach on uh, some of the trips we've done. A trip to visit Karl Marx's tomb. Uh, we get invited to go to Oxford regularly to uh, get lectured to by professors from Blackfriars Hall and Keble College. Uh, we go to London lectures. Um, we are particularly interested in year 13 in, in focusing on two philosophers who uh, changed the history of the subject and shaped many other subjects beyond philosophy in the 20th century, namely Wittgenstein on your left and Martin Heidegger on your right. We have a PPE society, uh, which is run by the boys and this is part of their university application process, the UCAS process. It's also a forum by which they practice their uh, interview skills or Oxbridge interviews. Here's the skills, uh, and I'll let you read that uh, yourself. Here are the grades that we're getting uh, pretty much year after year. Um, small classes historically, but very, very high uh, grades overall. And we're getting more and more students doing uh, prestigious subjects like PPE at Oxford and Cambridge. Here's some of the uh, subjects that they study at university. Here's some testimonials that I'll let you read yourself. Here's the staff. And that's the end of the presentation. Well, we look forward to seeing you soon and we hope you enjoy the presentation.